What's good, y'all? I hope everybody's having a lovely day. I got some food here. I got some poke right here. I got some rice. I got some salmon. And as of lately, I don't know why I've been feeling a little bit, like, not unmotivated, but lazy. I've been feeling tired. I've been feeling just out of the blue, really, like, don't want to work. I don't want to get up and do this. I've been finding myself extra on TikTok. I've been finding myself extra watching videos that I'm like, bro, this was so pointless. Why did I just spend watching a 30-minute documentary on YouTube about nothing that even is going to help me remotely in life? And then I'm talking to my friends, been doing this and that, just realizing that like it's okay to not have to be working all the time, 24-7, every single day, like I've been doing. You know, every day I've been coming back from New York, getting daily YouTube vlogs up every single day, regardless of what I'm doing, I'll post on Instagram. Like, bro, like anywhere I am in the world, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what the situation is, no matter if I get good news, bad news, something crazy just happened, like... I'm still going to get a post up on Instagram. I'm still going to wake up, edit a video regardless. You know, as of lately, it's been a little harder to to get up and edit videos and keep it going. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm thinking like, hey, even if you don't want to go to work, you still got to show up to work and get shit done and pay bills and move on. And, you know, that's my work. But, But it's not like I've been hating it recently. You know, it's just been more and more I'll wake up and it's like, oh, like I want to just stay in bed. I want to sleep. I want to listen to music. I don't really listen to podcasts, but, you know, I've been, I feel like it's a sign. It was just with my friend right now. She told me she listens to podcasts all the time. Was just, had lunch like two days ago yesterday. I was told to listen to podcasts. This is like the move. This is the wave. But I just feel like I can't really bring myself to do that. But I find myself watching YouTube videos all the time. Oh, well, well, um, going back to what I was talking about, it's just, it's okay to not have motivation sometimes and not want to do things to a certain extent. Right, like I'm still gonna get my work up, even though I don't want to. I just haven't been going as hard, you know. I feel like it's always a million ideas that I have that I want to execute, that I want to do, and you know, as a content creator and a full time Instagram poster, it's always new things I want to post. Every day I post like outfit videos, I post this, I post that, and it's always I'm thinking, oh, I, I want to start this new series. I should get this person on the video. Oh, I, sh- I should reach out to this person. I gotta do all this, and I just find myself. Just not doing it sometimes. Just finding, like, this is going to be a lot of work. Oh, so good, bro. But at the end of the day, again, it's it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. You don't make it to the end game. I mean, there's not even an end game, but you don't make it to where you want to be in the matter of a month. Just going hard. In a matter of two months, going hard. Three months, going hard. Like, for me, it's been forever. I know for other people, you know, it takes years and years and years of constant posting whatever your art is for people to see it it's almost like no times maybe like a 0.005 percent that someone's art someone's creations will blow up off their first time posting you know first song first video you get a million followers first viral moment you have a career that's so rare like most people too that you think it's like oh my god they went viral off their first thing this is going crazy like no man it's 10 years of work and work and work and work to get there i love poke bro i think my next trip i want to go to hawaii like i need a vacation that's just how i feel i feel like that's what my reset needs to be my downfall is forgetting to always get a drink when i go places bro good thing i have water at home though one thing i always tell my friends is that i think it's harder to maintain a spot that you're at once you make it, quote unquote, working and getting paid for your art and doing what you do more so than actually making it. Because once you make it, it's really just about staying consistent, being on top of your work. And if you want to take a break, most times in such a fast moving, like social media based environment nowadays, that can be detrimental. And then you go down, you go down, you go down because it's worse to have it all and lose it then have nothing and then keep having nothing keep having nothing because you're so used to that you know it gets to a point where now i have so many things everything i want you know i can go buy any clothing item that i want i can go talk to any person i want to send a dm i can go work with these big companies i've always wanted to and send these emails and do this and that but i feel like it's harder now that i can have everything knowing one day I can lose it all. And there's been moments where even once I've had everything, my dream that I've wanted, it's still 
days and times where I still have no money, you know, where I go down and I'm like, damn, like, is this me losing everything? I go on a month on Instagram and I lose three, <coughs> three, four thousand followers. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, this is it. I'm done. I'm losing it all. Boom, boom, boom. Then to the next month, gaining 15,000 followers, getting a, a crazy check. So it's really just being on your toes, too, and being like, I don't know if it's fully in. And I think this is more so, too, speaking about the point where I'm at, you know, because I'm at a point where I feel like I still can't vacation and take a month off, two months off, fall off the face of the earth and come back to a career still. And because my main income is social media, it's a fast paced moving environment. This moment I stop posting is the moment the checks start coming in. The moment I stop posting is the moment the followers go down. The moment I stop posting is when basically like I just stop showing up to work, you know? There's points though I know, you know, that there's levels to this shit where eventually you have your own self-sustaining business where you've grown enough, you have your business that's running itself and I don't have to post, I can have people posting for me and I can have people editing and I drop a clothing brand that's still selling money and have a show that's getting residuals and this and that. But the truth is, it's just not there yet. Like, it's good. It's easy. It's a it's a nice life right now. But there's levels to this. You know, me just being like a year into having all of this is like not the same or compared to somebody who's been here for 10 years, 15 years. They know how to keep the business moving. They know how to keep things running. And I don't know. Maybe I'm being too vulnerable. Maybe I'm not being vulnerable enough. And, you know, there's so many industries and there's so many subcategories to this, you know, like I'm working in fashion, I post fashion content and in fashion, there's like the fashion influencers and through the fashion influencers, there's people who will post streetwear, there's people who will only post outfits, there's people who will post like reviews, there's people who do interviews such as me, there's people who give their opinions and within also fashion and not just influencers, then there's like the high fashion, there's mid fashion, there's streetwear, there's the people that work in fashion that don't have followers and are behind the scenes, there's the people who are the stylists, they have a lot of followers, work with celebrities, there's stylists who don't have followers and still work everywhere and it's just like, there's so many niches and subcategories to everything that it's easy to get caught up and just wish that you were doing it like this person or doing something this way or doing another way, because like me, you know, being on social media all the time, I watch other influencers and how they post, how do you edit, how do they do this, and it's hard to not be influenced, and even just in the back of your mind, subconsciously, edit a certain way that another person edits, because you like this, or like, say something this person took, or do something that this other person took, and being like, in certain spaces too, you know, it's about like, oh, you gotta have your aura, oh, you need to look cool, oh, your photos need to be curated like this, you need to post this way, it's like, bro, who's the, who's the say-all, be-all, who's the person that said, that this is how this has to be, this is, is this way, this is that way. Because, you know, sometimes, like, doing the YouTube videos, I'm like, am I exposing too much of, like, what I think, what I want to do, how I want to be? Like, is this, oh, my God, there's no aura. Like, Jared's just telling everybody what's on his mind. Oh, this is happening here. But really, like, do I post too much YouTube videos? Do I not post enough? Like, do I need to be more mysterious? Do I need to post less on Instagram? Do I need to, like, like all these thoughts are just, like, like, bro, stop it. Like, just stop it. Be yourself. Keep posting. And just do what feels right. You know, everyone's going to tell you, like, oh, you should do it like this. Oh, you should do it like this. You should do it like this. But in all reality, it's just you do what you want to do. Like, when I was first blowing up and getting my stuff going, it's like it happened because I was posting three times a day on Instagram every single day, the same video. And it's like... I heard things from certain people, I heard things from other people, I heard things from other people, but nothing really worked, and it's just whatever feels comfortable to you, whatever you want to get into, you're going to find a way, and I always get people that message me, and I have this group chat with a bunch of supporters on Instagram, if you want to join, leave a comment, and um, I'll add you in there, but they always ask me, they're saying, hey, how how did you blow up, I want to start doing content, I post content, you know, we go in, I like their photos, I help teach them the way to get to a certain space where you can make money off your art, off your content, off your anything that you want to do. And at the end of the day, it's just like, if you want it, you'll get it. You know, there's no right way. There's no wrong way. You don't have to worry about your aura. You don't have to worry about posting too much, posting too little. If you want it, you'll get there. You know, I got a buddy that that's a photographer and he posted the other day. He's like, man, I haven't posted a photo in six months. 
but I'm as booked as I've ever been my entire life. And it's just, if your work is good, you'll get booked. If your work isn't up to par, but you're consistent, 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 looking for work every day, your work will get to the point where you're booked all the time. And right now, I'm at the point where I think I'm a great interviewer. I know how to talk to people. I know how to put a good video together. I know how to do everything along the lines of social media. But I still do need to post every single day because I don't have a form of long content that will thrive and thrive and thrive and that people will look for for weeks and months on end. You know, I do fast-paced content, fast-paced content, and I love doing it, but it's just such a game nowadays that I got into where I need to post every day, I need to post every day, I need to post every day, there's no breaks, no stopping, no this, no that, where, you know, if you're first starting off, whatever you want to do, you know, like, I'm saying this because, you know, everybody has that creative itch in the back of their mind that they've always wanted to achieve, or maybe you gave up, or maybe you're still on the path right now, that just any advice I could give, hopefully it comes off to you and you can use it some way, somehow, but yeah, you always got to find a way to, to self-sustain at the end. You know, don't just go on autopilot. I've been on autopilot the past couple months, just posting every day, getting my videos up, this and that. Because I remember at one point, everything was laid out. I'm like, this is how I'm going to blow up. This is how I'm going to do it. These are the people I need to talk to. This is the amount of followers I need. These are the exact videos I'm going to do. And I did it. Every single thing I wrote down, I did it. And I got to the point, point where I'm at now. But... I got comfortable. I'm like, okay, money's good. Video's good. Recognition, cool, whatever. But autopilot isn't fun. You know, it gets to a point where now I'm a couple months in and I'm like, oh, I need something new. I need something fresh. I need to get on the bigger platforms. I need to do other things. Hence to why I'm here on YouTube talking to you guys because this is fresh to me. This is fun. This is like what I enjoy. Ooh, shook my camera. This is what I enjoy doing. This is where the kid in me comes out and is like, oh, I've wanted to be a YouTuber since I was 15 never got to do it you know my big platforms are on short form content but coming back to youtube always brings that fun out of me makes me want to do more things and then just writing ideas for new series and this and that it brings the fun out it's just i know i got to get started on it i know i got to film all of this i know i got to hit up the right people do this for it to become fun again and not them so i'm not saying i'm not having fun right this is great like content I make, I go out, I interview people. It's always something different. It's always great. It's always a good time meeting people, making friends, but it just gets repetitive. I Los Angeles, what are you wearing today? Explain the outfit start. The shoes will go up. They run through the outfit. I learned about new fashion pieces. I make friends. Cool. Boom. The video's up, but it's just in the back of my mind and the little itch in my hand, the itch on my, the back of my throat where I'm like, I know I can do more. I know that there's a lot more to be done. I know the mission isn't even completed and I'm only like a year and a half into this thing. But, you know, this is just my perspective on where I'm going, where I'm headed, what I'm doing. Hopefully that you guys could take something out of this as well. Poke is so good. First, first little section when I can finally vacation. Hawaii, bro. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a fly here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Why is there a fly in my house? But yeah, you know, thoughts I have sometimes in the YouTube, I'm like, I'm giving out too much to the people. I'm letting too much of my inner soul out, my thoughts, my head, my creative genius. But that's what it is. Right now, I have the time to do YouTube. So I'm going to do YouTube. I want to talk to you guys. I don't just want to sit in bed and do nothing all day. You know, I've been <laughs> for the past couple of days. That's why right now I picked up the camera. I'm going to talk. See, whatever you guys feel, you guys relate to this. If you don't, you just hear another human speak on his experiences what i'm going through where i'm at I'm very blessed to be where i'm at and i thank you guys i think everybody that's on the instagram everybody that's on my tiktok and just that thinks i'm entertaining you know because it really is who's to say someone's entertaining who's to say someone's not entertaining you know I have to convince enough people that what you're doing is cool and i feel like i've got to the point where i've done that now it's time to collect more people and do some more cool stuff but yeah the fact that i can do youtube right now because one day, I won't be able to sit down on my computer and just edit these vlogs every day, speak to the camera, because I'm going to be way too busy. And right now, I'm too busy every day editing TikToks, going out and filming, new series is on the way. I'm still finding the time to do YouTube, but one day, it's not going to be here. So, you know, just appreciate what it is, what has, what will, but the entertainment will always be there. You know, this is what I signed up for for life entertainment 
entertainer, talk to people, have fun on camera, yell sometimes, learn about fashion. It's a lot I got to go through, you know? I'm always learning new things about fashion, new things about interviewing, new things about people. I'm just becoming a master at my craft. And I notice, like, you know, that's why people that are older, like, say interviewer like Jimmy Fallon. Like, he's goaded because he's been doing this for 30, 40, 50 years. I don't know. I don't think he's that old. How old is he? I don't know. But you get really good at it. And it's, it's funny because I feel myself getting good at it. I interview people. I'm, I'm knowing more what to say. What do I say next? Oh, this is what's happening. Oh, this is how I'm going to react to your your shoes because I've never seen something like that. It just gets the gears going, you know, second nature when it happens. Well, hopefully this inspired at least one person, maybe two people. I'm going to edit it, get it up, finish eating my little bowl, edit some more content, and move on with life. Ciao. Appreciate y'all.